Hello and welcome to the latest of our interviews with the candidates for this year's elections in Lincoln County. Our candidate today is Gary McAllister. He is a candidate for the non-partisan race for Lincoln County Board of Education. Gary is a native of Lincoln County, a 1986 graduate of Duval High School. He is currently working on a degree in business with Kanawha Valley Community and Technical College. He has a level two teaching certificate in vocational education and is a part-time carpentry instructor. He's married to Rosemary, has two sons, Anthony and Adam, and he resides on McCorkle Road in Sod. Gary McAllister, welcome. Thank you. What made you decide to run for Board of Education? I want to give back to the, the county. I was uh, born and raised here in Lincoln County, and I'm very proud of our county. I have to, I went through uh, the uh, school system here in Lincoln County. My father graduated from Duval. I graduated from Duval, and my oldest son, Anthony, graduated from Duval, and Adam just graduated from the new high school, and I'm very proud. Uh, Anthony's got a, or Adam has a free ride to college on his academics, so I brag on our school system here in the county, and the county has been very good to me, so I want to uh, give back to the county. Our second question. What personal and professional qualities would you bring to the role? I feel I would be uh, a good for the school board because, again, I just had two sons that went through the school system here in the county. I currently sit on boards. I'm the president of the Carpenters Union in Charleston. I'm on the Canola Valley Labor Council board. Here in the county, I sit on the Lincoln Public Service District board. I sat on the Lincoln Economic Development Board, and I currently sat on the uh, West Virginia Carpenters Training Board. I'm a board member for them currently, and I feel with my life experiences and with my work experiences, I would have the knowledge and experience to uh, work with the kids and the people of Lincoln County. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Our county has seen the control of educational affairs devolved back to the local board in recent times. What do you feel was achieved during the decade of state intervention in Lincoln County? I wasn't a fan of the state taking over the county. Uh, I personally haven't seen a lot that was positive from it. School meetings have been taking place ahead of an expected school bond referendum probably this coming winter. Can you identify general projects or, or two specific projects maybe that you would like to see included in a bond plan? If, if the, first of all the bond, if the citizens of Lincoln County passes the bond, I would uh, like to see a new school in Alm Creek, a new school in Hamlin, new school in uh, Guyam Valley, and that would give us four brand new K through 8th grade schools that would keep our kids in their community locally, and then we have our new high school, and I feel we would be state of the art, we would be leading the school system in West Virginia. And kind of a related question, there has been speculation that a major athletic facility, maybe including a football field, at Lincoln County High School might be part of the bond plan ultimately. Is that a project you would support and why? Yes, I would. I think sports is very important in the school system. It uh, gives our kids something to do, keeps them off the street, and we all know drugs is an uh, epidemic in the county at this time, and uh, it shows team, teaches them team player, and uh, yes, I would definitely support it. Okay. Gary McAllister, thank you very much. Thank you. That concludes our latest interview. Look for more interviews at our website www.lincolnjournal.com. Thank you.